Hi, I'm Michelle Fur, the campus manager here at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory, and we're visiting Gorilla Forest, the new habitat under construction here at the zoo. Como's had gorillas for, since 1950s, and we are building a new habitat for them that not only will increase their quality of life, but also the quantity of space that they have. With me today is Mark Beecham with CLR, our construction project managers. They're going to tell us a little bit about this project. Hi, Mark. Hi, Michelle. Welcome to Gorilla Forest. But you, you helped create this. Tell us a little bit about what we see and a little bit about who you guys are. Well, CLR has been in the zoo and animal exhibit designs for nearly 30 years. This is all we do. We do animal exhibits and zoo design, both nationally and internationally. How has the zoo design philosophy changed over the years, or what are some of the things that best practices that you take in when you do any exhibit around the country? High activity is what we want to achieve with these exhibits. So we think about what is in the life of an animal at any given point, and how can we fit into their daily routines to be able to design things in the exhibits for them to do. Take Polar Bear Odyssey. And we're doing the same thing here with Gorilla Forest, that we want to be able to think about, well, what's the animal going to do? Are they going to play a little bit in the water here at Gorilla Forest? Are they going to be foraging for their foods across the landscape in their, in their habitat? Are we going to be able to provide a little nooks and crannies in some of the rock work where they can put some of their food and treats? So all those things are kind of built into the habitat. So we're looking at Gorilla Forest. It's about midway through the construction. What are some of the key features that you're really excited about this habitat? Well, behind us, we're looking at rock work. And rock work's sort of a magical thing where we try and bring a bit of mother nature here to Como into these gorilla habitats. And so the rock work is now taking shape. We're starting to see the grades coming up and starting to see the shape of the exhibit. And you can start to imagine what the animals are gonna be doing as they move about their day. The immersion experience here with Gorilla Forest is gonna be a West African rainforest. So imagine lots of plants that are gonna go in here and when we think about immersion, we're trying to transport you, the visitor, to their habitat rather than the other way around. So we think about plant material, we think about topography, we think about geology, we think about all these different pieces that affect their habitat and what it is as we transport you to that West African feel. So here, we're using lots of plants and we use, we can't bring in plants from Africa, the real thing. So what we do is we bring in simulator plants, plants that look like they're African, but they're not. They're grown here in the Como area so that they can, they're comfortable with the climate and that they can grow very well. So we're creating a very dense planting plan for the overall habitats to create that immersion experience. So there are a couple ways off the main visitor path that guests can experience the habitat. And there's some great viewpoints throughout that experience. What are we looking at here? This is gonna be a really cool spot. When you look up into this area, there is going to be a waterfall that streams down from above you, coming down into a pond. And what we're recreating here is what it would be like in an African rainforest, right where you would have a water feature, and it will be a cool, quiet, wetter area that the gorillas could then sit and enjoy and, and be able to be at peace. So this is another really cool feature. People will be able to come in here and be indoors, climate controlled, and be able to see different things throughout the experience. What are we seeing here in a couple of these spots? Well, we have lots of opportunities to look out into the individual habitats and also into the demonstration area. So the first location is looking out here into the one habitat, and here you can see all the, the different geology and the plants of the, of the African rainforest looking out this way. We also have some really neat views looking up where the gorillas have an opportunity to transfer into the building and be able to put them in an elevated location so that they have the dominance, they have the views looking down at us. So over in this third area, this is the corner of the existing building. This is the way you used to get in and out of the building. We're transforming this into the demonstration area where you'll be able to see keepers and gorillas work together through a mesh barrier so that the, the keepers can work with them, they can train with them, they can talk about all the different things that they can do. All of that can be viewed by the visitors. Well, thanks, Mark, for sharing a little bit of the history and the background of design here at Como Zoo and the Gorilla Forest. It's been great working with you, and I'm sure that we're excited about when is this going to open? Oh, we're excited, too. It's going to open in summer of 2013. So 
thank you again for all the things that you guys have done when working with us as well. You have a great organization here and the staff has been great to work with and they've really helped to build quite a vision. Well, we've really seen what CLR can do with Polar Bear Odyssey, so we're very excited about Gorilla Forestry opening next summer. And people can visit our website at www.comozooconservatory.org and follow along with updates as well as a great webcam. So we'll be seeing you soon.